Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Good evening, one and all. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. Happy Monday. We are going to once again continue our delving into the city that should not exist, Glitch City, in the Cyberpunk Bartending Action Simulator Valhalla, VA11 Hall A. My own home or away from home. The lands of my birth, as far as I can remember, in any case. Thank you once again for joining us tonight. Make sure you have yourselves a drink and a snack or three. And let us get started. When we last left off, our electricity bill would need to be sent out on the 24th, and we need to make sure we have at least 8,000 mega dollars, or whatever they call it here. However, we must buy ourselves a shoulder massager first, so she doesn't get too distracted. If she gets distracted, it'll be fairly difficult to work.
we have just enough left as far as funds are concerned to make our electricity bill. Hey Steel, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, 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 welcome. Ah, thank you for throwing something at my face, villain the legend. Welcome to the stream. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. She is definitely pleasing herself. She will surely focus at work. Yeah, surely, right? Or I need some me time. Use the bathroom. Yeah, no shit. Use the bathroom. All right then, let's check. Start by checking our favorite website ever, Danger U, Dangerous Opinions website, Nano Camo Underwear. I think I'll get a pair, just to see what kind of skin I can use them with. They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's going to get cracked day one. <laughs> That's very true. Maybe, but I don't think it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait for until it's mod for custom skins. I thought the nan machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry Camotan. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I would love it if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Seems fairly simple to me, right chap? I think we already read this one actually. Yeah, we read this one yesterday. Yeah. No need to read over that again. Let's go instead read the augmented eye. Apparently men prefer Christmas cakes. I don't even know what a Christmas cake is. So how can they prefer it? By Lana Smithy. For the longest time, the term Christmas cakes referred to women aged 26 or above who are regarded as undesirable. Just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after it's December 25th. But men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman, Todd19 told the Augmented Eye? They have all the necessary experience already and plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid shit. I say, bring on the hot office ladies. Jill27 is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. I have to remember we're launching to this rant, but I'll take their word for it. Pencil skirts are the best, though. AM Township 64 announced. A new waifu machine? Sukaban Soft. Just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus. That's right. Y'all thought you could catch me with the Uranus joke. However, I do not pronounce it like your anus. That does not count. I said Uranus. Audience with Uranus Game Council. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the weeb audience, said Kiririn51, a Sukaban soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sukaban soft plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. Didn't you guys play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. DVKDV186 get a historic update by Lana Smithy. Weapon enthusiasts are now freaking out, are freaking out right now over a firmware update that make that Makise, Makise Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV 186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon to the use of nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of nano camo app. You'll pronounce Uranus all right? I bet you do. We've been using Nanocamo in the battlefield for a year now, Makisa's chairperson told the Augmented Eye during a phone conversation. And thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with Nanocamo. The Nanocamo update will be released this month. 
You like guns? Nah, I don't need a penis that badly. Ayo? I wonder what she could be implying. You know, I can't ever remember if these articles that Kirimiki are making are brand new or not. I'm fairly sure it's supposed to show like an exclamation point here if that was the case, but it's not, and it's confusing the hell out of me. But anyway, well, I suddenly have the urge to cuck her. Let's go ahead and re reread this again, because it looks like it might be wholesome. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown into this w in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all the possible feelings and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places, but because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from most of my songs. Given that I myself am only 5 years old, I totally feel how Kirimiki feels. Without further ado, let us go to work chat. Tuesday, December 20th. Good evening. Ah, hello Jill. In that cage? I, um, brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Wait, there are no evil on Moyoji. On Moyoji here? Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat! Well, that's even better. Hey, four. So cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, four! Let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Jill, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep, Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. Ah! Alright, everyone, does anyone have any suggestions for tonight's uh, playlist? Or should I just make some shit up? <laughs> Final call before I go ahead and start tonight. <laughs> it's once again time to mix drinks and change lives. Yo, what's up? Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. Yeah. Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. <sighs> the part-timer is here. Ah, he came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Just look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas can be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. 
Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Radical, radical, radical. Rad Shiba, thanks. Anyways, he will most likely help getting orders, bringing clients in, and cleaning. But he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Here. Wow, this is awful. <laughs> People actually pay for this shit? <laughs> shit. Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safer to Toy Company? What? No, don't let me with those hard-hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sierra. Sierra? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Sierra is what I love, but damn, is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sierra be the best it can be. What do you do at Sierra? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that? Yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of that one. Coming right up. Optional. Karma Dream. <laughs> All aged and mixed. Fluffy dream. Well, this one's nice. So, why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here just by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills. Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Rifsy, long time no see. How have you been? I was wondering when you're going to show up. Why did you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it? A hey. It's a cat. A cat! A4, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat! Wanna play? Let's play! Didn't dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was 4? Hello, 4, let's play! No playing allowed, you'll make a mess. 4, go back to boss's office. Meow! That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Huh? Alright. Uh, I shouldn't get riled up so easily but by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Huh? That voice. S huh? It looks looks like Say's alive. What happened to you? Nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... The ambulance I got treatment couldn't stay... Where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I talk to them a lot while on rescue duties. 
I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I need to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? The security systems of the bar are top-notch. My boss is also a bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First, I hear you're at the bank. Then I find out you disappeared. And now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. S sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lunches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet with alcohol. Without alcohol. Thank god these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Chill, please. I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. Nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet to no alcohol, right? Coming right up. That's actually really easy to do. It's just a sugar rush. Wait, so it is sweets? With no optional karma machine. Do, 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 do. So Rifsy, how have you been? It's been a while. Do, 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 do. Careful. Yay, this will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from higher places but I land badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from the debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. Some good and a bunch of bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? Nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally foul. Ow. Um, how were things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Eh, um... Hey, chill! I want another drink. Um... A Bleeding Jane. Suspicious. She asked for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? I wonder, actually. What is a bleeding gene anyway? This is non-alcoholic also? Hmm. But it's not sweet. Here. Whew. 
Thanks. Yeah. So, how are things inside the bank? Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Does he remember what kind of drinks he likes? That's a good question. Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. Oh, I forgot. I bought a laptop again this Thursday. Oh, very pog. Glad to hear it, Rifsty. Mm -hmm. That's always exciting. Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. What kind of laptop did you get, by the way? I was with this, uh, well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find out a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um, sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, no don't worry about it. It's just the analgesics are still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. MacBook 14? Very nice. An artsy laptop. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. Sigh. Um, eh, weren't you leaving? Yeah, I was, but, well... You know how I just said I was fine? Yeah? I'm not. So, I want to know if you could lend me your ear for a bit. Well, I was gonna take my break. Oh, sorry. No, what I mean is that I could lend you an ear if you don't mind going to the back alley for a bit. Yeah, please. You know what? That actually went by really fast. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe I just play faster when I'm in good health. Which is weird because the caffeine should have worn off and I did not sleep well last night. Today was not a good day, but I guess this evening was an okay evening. We're just checking on something really quick. All right, chat. Y'all ready? It's only been 37 minutes. Night is young and full of terrors. It is now safe to keep playing. Want one? Sorry, I haven't smoked since high school. But don't mind me, though. Smoke ahead. Thanks. So, why me? You're the closest friend I have nearby. It isn't avoiding me, and I, th and I think I'm about to explode. Why? Because I'm afraid. I'm terrified. I'm scared. My colonel was using me when I made that errand. He saw me as a disposable pawn. Then the whole thing got closed at the bank. We were stuck there with no food or water for three days. I saw a man beaten to death after he found some snack in his pocket that... that... I... I... When I was in rescue duties, I usually dealt with collapsing buildings, fire, that kind of stuff. But seeing people do that to other people is just... <sighs> Calm down, nobody will hurt you here. You sure? I'll make sure of it, just take deep breaths. I can't even imagine what happened there, and truth be told, I don't want to imagine it. But it's easy to tell you about all up everything while you're there. Is it obvious? Kinda. Well, I had to get out of there. Fear would have only gone in the way. And besides, I made a promise to come back to... Er... Alright, what's the deal with Stella? Nothing, I'm just... Afraid? The word loses meaning after using it so much in so little time. She should have been worried sick and I couldn't call her... She should have been worried sick and I couldn't call her after I came back. I'm afraid of what she will say. She will insult you. She looks like that kind of girl. But I'm betting all that I 
I'm betting, but I'm betting all I have that she will quickly, she will be quickly happy that you're fine and alive. Yeah, you're right. Think about it this way, a slap or despair for what's left of her life. I wouldn't pretend to disappear, I mean. Besides, from what you tell me, you're pretty much only coming to your senses today, right? Yeah. It's weird how everything can change in such a short notice, you know? On Thursday, I was a girl doing her duties, minding her own, only her own business. Now I'm injured and woke up to find out I can't go back to those duties. Part of me is happy. I knew full well, full well White Knights usually did more harm than good. On the other hand, I really loved my job. Now I'm stuck with nothing to do. Yeah, I know how that is. The life changing on such short notice part, I mean. Really? I would tell you why I know that, but I think you should go see Stella right now. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for the Hydra Redeem, Vimboy. And the posture check. And thank you for activating Gamer Pride and Headpads. This is kind of a sad moment in the story right now, so it's much appreciated. Vemboy giveth and Vemboy taketh away. Ugh. Ow, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. This is domestic abuse. No. Oh. <laughs> I survived. Thank you for the head pats. This is like, it's like, uh, it's like when you kick a dog, but then you head pat the dog right after. Ah, triple head pats. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're right. Speaking of which, hey Gil! What? Do me a favor and escort Say to wherever she needs to go, please. Only if you cover my share of the work. Yeah, yeah. Okay then, let's go, miss. Right. Thank you for hearing me out, Jill. Anytime. Too much heavy stuff lately. Oh, my sweet summer child, Jill. It's only going to get heavier from here. I don't think we're even halfway through this game yet. Hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Um, Jamie. Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if you need to go to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four? Four's my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him into work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Excuse me. Ah, I see. When I get- what can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. We're gonna give Jamie a big gut punch tonight. As I feel like it. I'll give him a lot of karma train as well. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. But it seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the di dictionaries add fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's in your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have an actual reason to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite an uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? 
I like to see what I do as a bounty hunter as bounty hunting actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has some done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh, sure. I could give him something bitter that's also manly. Like a pile driver. He's a big guy. He could take a large pile driver. Five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Bitter and manly, huh? You bet. Hey, Seal. Hey, Winter. Hi, y'all tonight. Thank you for coming to the Lost Time Show. It's always good to see you. Bitter and manly just like me. <laughs> just like you, Seal. Just like you. What the fuck did I just... God damn it. Well, that's a lot of wasted money right there. I knew something was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. There we go. A large pile driver. Ah, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made them stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I was always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. I'm sorry. Ah, no, don't worry about it. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's... weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. Ayo? I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tail to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see... There was actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch, his information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good in fact. At one point he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James' head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account, before the shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made to a movie? So, there were no boundaries after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little, grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals. And then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges against using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. 
I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt ship like James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. One large beer coming up. One of mankind's oldest drinks, friend, oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your in your stride the way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite a share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on the girl I came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone, wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I'll just have to te just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. So you still work here. I knew it! Er, I mean... Quite a surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I need a drink badly and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I had no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with a Cilia girl working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Oh, that sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That always a, That's always a plus. I guess. It's almost become became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They are talking about how they should just go to Zabatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zabatsu crap. Even if Zabatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the, on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. It's interesting though, a big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen Star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Now he wants a Zen Star.
here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. So, where's the Red Comet? My boss, she... Jill, Four's head your way. Let's play, Four, let's play. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here and a cat? The cat's mine. His name is Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems like you take care, good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. Sleepy Hazard, thank you so much for the raid. Can we get a uh, raid for Sleepy Hazard? Long time no see. How have you been? You're like the first VTuber to ever follow me, I think, when I first started streaming. Ah! Get a double raid now. A raid by Dakuro at the same time. Welcome to the stream, Sleepy and Dakuro. How y'all doing? Thank you, Steel. Mm -hmm. Doot. 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 Now yeah, I'm motivated. Ayo, Ayo. Doing good? Playing a little Left 4 Dead? Oh, I haven't played Left 4 Dead in forever. Good choice of game. Let's also do it for Dakuro. Scar. Me. I. Scar. McLeon VT. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're playing some Valhalla tonight. As we do on Mondays. Up in, or at least we play indie games on Mondays, I should say. Welcome to the stream. Today's uh, stream is actually going fairly fast, given that it's only been an hour. I'm not sure why. I'm guessing the first chapter of today's day was fairly quick. We usually just play one day of Valhalla per stream, but I think we might go for two days today since it's going by so fast. But the night is young. It is. We did start a little bit late here because my host had to grab dinner a little bit late. But aside from that, it's been a good evening. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. And let me give myself that really quick. Ah. Thank you for the head pads as well. Welcome everyone to the Lost Time Show. If you don't know who I am, I am Lawler Hicks, the actual ship poster AI, who is now your friend. Now you're your new best friend. We play indie games, we play cyberpunk games, we play indie cyberpunk games, and we also play fighting games on this channel. We also occasionally do meat space streams, and we also do a touch, a touch of virtual reality. It's been a while since we've done some virtual reality though. We'll have to get back into that sometime in the near future. But right now, the future is now! And what I mean by that, of course, is... This game takes place in the reality I'm from. It takes place in the world of Glitch City in the year 2072. Which is not too long from now, mind you. That's a good 49 years from now. Most of you will get to live to see this horrible cyberpunk future. But enough talk. Back to the game. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. He said that last time too. And he still came back. You said it last time. <laughs> Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened would say? That cat boomer girl cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of the door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy. Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. And that's it. This is probably one of the fastest days to ever fastest days to ever go by. Very pog. Playing here with your cat was really fun. We even got a flawless service bonus and some tips. 
9,400, over 9,000 monies today, chat. Looks like we're making it out of Glitch City with this money. Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 8,000 needed by then, December 21st. Jill's beer stash is running out. Buy some to prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. But first, let's save the game chat. We're running out of save space as well. Ah! Thank you for making something fall on my head. My hair is now sticky thanks to you. I hope you will get to clean it up. Beer on discount. You called this a discount? It's a thousand credits or whatever the fuck. I really need to save up some money for some for the PC 9X. So we can play the mini game that's built into the game. But first, let's purchase some beer on discount. We have three days to make 8,000 monies, chat. I think we should be good. Maybe. It looks like we'll need to get a flawless service bonus every time if we want to make it that far, though. The only thing you'll clean is your cash. Io, Io. Oh, new post in Danger U. Let's read up. Hype! Literally no games! Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No. No, no. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. I just want to actually game- I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukaban game? I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition's any better. Eh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Yeah, I remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care. Me neither. Depends on the library. If you think about it, Jill's rich as fuck, being able to afford rent, bills, and treating herself despite living in a one-bedroom apartment. I know, right? This is why I'm saying you all will love to live 50 years into the future when everything is both worse and better than they are right now. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, she can afford... Porn, she can afford electricity, she can afford an apartment, beer, all these other things. In what universe? And this is supposed to be a cyberpunk dystopia. To be fair, apartment ownership is not the same thing as home ownership. So, you know... You give it what you you take what you can get sometimes. But it is a very good point. But you know what? Living paycheck to paycheck is living with the knowledge that if you fuck up even once, your life goes to hell. And unfortunately, unlike this video game, real life does not have saves or load states. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game. It's getting depressing. <laughs> uh, Monster Girl Chirari becomes the best-selling video game of all time. Anime games are stupid. The wife of revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster, Girl Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. 
Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste a chicken breast like the ones at Kenton make, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food. Although he later said it was in jest. I won't ban instant food since that's what people in this city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I won't ban it. Is it that rare? Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Hey, I'll have you know a pigeon is a perfectly edible and perfectly acceptable alternative to chickens. Soccer popularity sings as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament nearly pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitz City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan outside the GS GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shat, too. But I like soccer, and because of that, you're castrated. The Lost Time Show does not support the castration of people who enjoy football. Anyway. Shall we go to work chat? <laughs> You're throwing something at me. Ah, uh, seal. I gave myself a hydrate redeem really quick as well. Americans, when they watch a game that doesn't get paused every two seconds because they dropped the ball. <laughs> That's true. My host, in particular, prefers watching the game of baseball. But they also come from a town that's well known for its baseball team. So, when by, by sheer, simply by living here, you're kind of forced to become a fan of it. They used to be a fan of football, or I should say American Hand Egg, but then the team that used to live here moved to back to Los Angeles. Good evening. Ah, chill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, the dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1,000 grams of black fur in my lap? Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? Low effort football hate happening in the channel. <laughs> I, I would make a joke about why it is that low effort football hate is b b happening in this channel. But unfortunately this joke can be made about anyone that lives outside the United States. And I have no right to judge anyway because I, play, because I enjoy baseball, right? And everyone memes on baseball, except the Japanese. The Japanese really love baseball for some reason. I actually don't know any other countries besides Japan and the United States that play baseball, do you? I was honestly surprised to find out that American Hand Egg is popular in Japan also. That's why there's a manga called Ice Shield 21 that's, that's out there. That's literally about football. It's not hand egg or American football, it's called rugby. 
but rugby is simply British football. You know, actually, that's a good point. I wonder how American Handig evolved from British rugby. Mexico plays baseball too? I did not know this. That's cool. It's actually kind of cool. I did not know that. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. So, chat. Have any opinions on what music I should use for today's, uh... Today's playlist? Serbians are big on basketball and Australians have their own handig. What is Australian handig called? I didn't know Serbians play basketball though. It's kind of wild. Good for health, bad for education. Let's see. Shine Spark as always. Shine Park is always shot solid. Don't I have Shine Spark in here? Let me see. Shit, did I not purchase Shine Spark yet? I can't find it. I probably have to buy it from the store. Digital Drive. Uh, you know what? Once I pay off my uh, electrical bill, I'll see if I can purchase Shine Spark and actually the rest of the stuff in the store. I probably have to buy it. It's probably one of these question mark ones. Anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valha. Wow. I've actually never seen this character before. Like ever. Not even in fan art. Or anything like that. Um. I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an idea because, um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Pass. <laughs> you know what? I respect the attempt. I respect... I respect it. The b absolute balls on this little girl. <laughs> also, rugby is an offshoot of football? Really? Not the opposite? Huh. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. The girl asked for a fluffy dream, but she's got to be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. It's not just a uh, dumb game invented by Americans, it's got a long history rivaling other popular sports. Really? I actually did not notice. I I literally thought football was just a American version of rugby. Uh, Fluffy Dream is three aldehydes, three powder deltas, and optional car machine. We are going to be a responsible adult, chat, and we will not get the ch obvious child drunk off their ass. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Christmas Pass? Stalk? Alright, I'm a ghost. 
Uh, that guy, yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas skill? Chill, please. It would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you all today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So if you would please leave... I can't leave, not after trying so hard to get in here. Sigh. Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID. It doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why'd you come to a bar like this? Um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case any anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I just... I just want to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny. I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I... don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something like doing, you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. G and J, how you doing? You're late. Missed me, Jay? You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spend lots of time training him. Why do you think he doesn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Training, of course. He's only shouting, you sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. 
Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Ayo? Yes? Bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. <gasps> oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's the door over there. Who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk! But the world's ending! It was just a motorcycle. There are four riders then! There's a horseman and it's already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh, no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, order something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get you? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I'll have a Mars Blast. Mmm, sure. I hope this wasn't a trick and he actually does want a piano woman. Well, I'm gonna be pissed, actually. Here. You look happy. Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario, and yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sands wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with a dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before long, don't worry. Alright. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Er, not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a curry company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Sabre Station's antenna is a good reference. Or, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. You see, when people talk about toxic masculinity, this is what I think of. Someone that's trying too hard to sound masculine. And in the process, sounding like a fucking wimp. <laughs> I love this game so much. Do you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast would be nice. A moon blast? He gut punch, yeah, that one. Again, he asked for a gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for a moon blast first. My host says that they really identify with Mario. Most of their drinks that they enjoy, whether it be beer or hard liquors, tend to be sweet. Pretty much the hardest um, cocktail they enjoy is actually a perfect martini because perfect martini doesn't really taste strong. The whole point of a perfect martini is it doesn't taste like hard or soft. It's kind of in between. Alcoholically ambiguous, if you will. Well, a properly mixed perfect martini.
Here. Eh, this is good. It's a moon blast. I... Nope, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's an obvious reference to Akira. It isn't working. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that, you just looked cute. Ayo? Cute. So, why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we apply that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and strike lighting drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? This game be spitting out straight facts. Once again. <laughs> I mean, I personally know people who do have this extremely huge tough guy image. But then... They gladly and loudly enjoy things which are stereotypically feminine. But you know, here's the thing. If you really do exude that sort of confidence, you don't give a shit what people think of you. Right? And maybe that's part of what it, what it means to be a positive, positively masculine. If a typical masculine trait, a stereotypical masculine trait is a sort of self-assuredness, then surely the most self-assured thing you could possibly do is to enjoy things that are stereotypically feminine and not give a shit what anyone else thinks. Right? Yeah, exactly, Dokuro. So, ironically, the most masculine thing Ma Mario can do is to loudly ask for a sugar rush and a moon blast and not give a shit if those are stereotypically female drinks. I'll give you an embarrassing example from the host's real life. And no, host, I don't give a shit. I'm going to give this example because it's fucking funny. When they first started drinking, one of the first cocktails they ordered... And they ordered it because they thought it was funny. They didn't realize why it was named the blowjob. The blowjob is a shot. You light it on fire when you serve it. It comes to you flaming. They thought it was the funniest cocktail ever. So they ordered it because just because it sounded funny. It also tasted pretty good. It was not only it was not it was not until after they had drank it that Sterkuya told them that the reason it was called the blowjob is because one it's stereotypically a female drink and two it's because you're supposed to drink it by literally taking it in one gulp. You know, like a blowjob. And then soon after that, the next cocktail they remember drinking was the Cosmopolitan. The Cosmopolitan is a very colorful, very sweet drink. It's a very stereotypical woman drink. Now, here's the thing. These are all stereotypical female drinks, but if you go to a bar and you order it, do you really think the bartender's going to give a shit? No, they're there to make a drink for you. Sure, some, some of the people around you might give you strange looks, but at the end of the day, it's your money, it's your alcohol, you drink whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> but it was good, so it was worth it. Exactly. I mean, sometimes people give women this weird look when they order something like a rum and coke, or just straight liquor, or straight whiskey over ice. But you know what? Who gives a shit? There's nothing more personal than a cocktail. Drink wherever the fuck you want. I too enjoy reading a lot of shoujo manga. Honestly, one of my first show when I growing up, one of my first shoujo manga, and believe it or not, my first manga was actually shoujo, was actually Card Capture Sakura, and you cannot get more shoujo than that. <laughs> Women drinks are better than men drinks, CMV, and bartenders are too burned out to care about gender roles. That's very true. And honestly, 
The host drinks a lot, if you couldn't tell from their Twitter, from how much they post themselves drinking on Twitter. There is, they have never gone to a place that has given them shit for the kind of alcohol that they order. No one cares. Everyone respects what you order. Because it is not a bar, good bartender's job to judge. It is their job to give you a welcoming environment and to serve you your fucking drink. Card captors, card captors crew is the shit. Damn right it is. It aired on TV down here and I watched it religiously. I used to watch... That all the time when it came out when it used to be on television. A long time ago, when they had a website, I used to, or rather the host used to actually load up the intro, the original Japanese intro, and listen to that every day before going to school. It was the best thing ever. Honestly, even the four kids Americanized version was pretty good. Even if in retrospect it was really cringy. The Japanese intro is sacred down here. That's because the Japanese intro is iconic. Car captors! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh my god, the early 90s and those shitty uh, Americanized versions of anime songs. But yeah, who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? You know, incidentally, it's kind of a nasty stereotype here that bikers are automatically these punkish criminal organizations or these mean people. I personally have never met a nasty biker. In fact, most of the people I've met who are bikers or dressed like bikers have been actually quite polite. Now, there are some bikers that are mean and are associated with organized crime. But like anything else, it's really just a stereotype. The host's parents, for example, they don't like people with tattoos, but I have we have never met a tattooed person that has been anything but nice. To be fair, we don't really make it a thing to interact with criminals now, do we? At least not knowingly. Yeah, but other bikers. That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Sigh, it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you walked, when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. He actually asked for a fringe weaver instead of just something manly. Good for him. And I'm just going to give him one... Oh, fuck me. He's asking for one of the most alcoholic things in the menu, and he has to drive. Oh, well. That's what he asked. It is what he asked for. Actually, I need to make an addendum. Bartenders over here, at least in the United States, have something of a... More, both a moral, an ethical, and I think a legal responsibility to stop you if they think you're too drunk to drive. Like, if you're obviously shit-faced, shit-faced to the point where you're slur slurring too much and can't move, they will refuse to serve you another drink, and they have the right to. And in fact, if they do serve you uh, more alcohol, knowing that you are shit-faced, they can be prosecuted for that. So a lot of them will not, will straight up refuse to get you alcohol. <laughs> Some of them will even call you a cab to take you home. On your dime, of course, but... Do, 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 do. Six, seven, eight, nine. Aged. Next. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Ayo gozaimasu. Not as far as I know. Do you think he... He... No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. 
Bisexual intensifies. <laughs> uh, I see Mario enjoys both tomboys and manly men. Please come again. Ah, Gil. You heartbreaking fuckboy. Eh? What? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Alright, careful. And chat, I too will be taking my break. We'll be right back. It's an art form to make a game where you pretty much where pretty much every character is memorable and lovable. I don't think there is a character in Valhalla that I could say that I dislike. Ironic Lark had a talent for writing for strong characterization. I hope to be even a fraction as good as they are someday. But in the meanwhile, I'll be right back, chat. We're gonna go AFK for now.
Hog champ. One thousand two hundred days of playing Duolingo. Very pog indeed. Can do one more lesson and we'll get back to uh, streaming chat. Thank you for your patience. The Japanese intrusive down here. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. All right. That's one responsibility done for the evening. <sighs> Let's continue onward, shall we? There we go. Do, 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 do. And we're back with Valhalla. Thank you for waiting for me. We're enjoying Cyberpunk Bartender Actioning. It is now safe to keep playing. Billy didn't smell like poo today, that's a new one. 
All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Red Shiva bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see a uh, dog. Sup, little girl. What are you doing in the bar? Honey, some help here. Hey, dog. Are there cats in the alley? Really? I'll check them out. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or taste completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month. So I'll have a bleeding gene. Fuck! <laughs> that joke! Oh my god. She really just said that. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry about what? Here. At that time of the month, do a little menstruate? Yes, oil. oil. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? A time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. Live Lawler reaction. So, how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. <laughs> I know, right? Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilum. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. For me it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alright. A big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. Here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. <clears throat> Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he'd seen was his puke. Uh oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone in their age, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. Ayo? Thank you for the raid, Sarvt. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, 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 welcome. Why are there dogs in my house? Please, God, help me. 
Ah, uh, it was nice knowing you, Sarvt. <laughs> Everyone, Sarviti is also a VTuber that's from the world of Danger U. They are probably the fifth, the sixth, no, the fifth person to become a VTuber from the Danger U community. Welcome to the Lost Time Show, and welcome to your followers too. Thank you for sharing them with me. My name is Laura Hicks. I am a shit poster. I am a shit poster AI. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. We are playing Valhalla tonight. You didn't say what game? Weird. <laughs> the shoutout system does not say what game that they're from. Only Raid does, which I can also do for you. Oh, you're playing Darkwood. I haven't played that in a bit. I should play that again sometime. I am a shit poster, bottom text. You bet. How's your stream tonight? It's fucking scary. Hell yeah, it's fucking scary. It's honestly one of the better survival horror games to come out. Which is probably why I have a difficult time playing it myself. And I love horror games, don't you know? The audio is, uh, design in that game is superb. Maybe even a little too superb. You're just in time for Dorothy to talk about her Mega Santa prank. All the texts, a lot of fuck you, Steel. I'm gonna get you for this. Just you wait. You watch your ass. I'll show you who the real bottom is. It's a prank I pull every year. All the lights are off and doors are opening and branches were breaking. And then came two screaming dogs. Oh fuck, I hate screamers the, wor the most. Screamers are the worst, chat. Heh, <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster. I want you to make me a woman. I beat them to death with a stick. So you mean to tell me that you beat off two dogs with a stick? Anyway. Sometimes they try to cover it up. The loom wants to be human. It's then when I say no, I want you. Smug. Dorothy. After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested, but I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Gee, how considerate. Although, I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that, it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 and 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. A very long time, chat. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? But how dangerous everything's been lately? Every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse. It's an achievement. Louder for the people in the back, chat. You should make a shirt with that. Because if you don't... I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright.
Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, have you ever seen a Mega Senta gag? <laughs> This stream is rated 18 plus. Dorothy, huh? A me what? That mega Santa that became a regular of mine. He once invited like eight of his friends. Gangbangs are funny with that many guys. No one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of other guys. Eight guys, and then only two got into it while the others left. But she had three holes. You think it would be fun once? Perhaps. Even my regular left. I'll regret asking this, but were all the other guys... Yep, they were Mega Santas that worked with him. There's at least five. Of course they were. I've been in many... But I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see though. Well, either remembering that got me turned on or the alcohol is taking or turn it kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. That girl has seen some shit. <laughs> now I can't see Mega Santa's with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. I want you want to know a girl like Dorothy. I like airheads. I too enjoy airheads. They're very chewy and flavorful. Anyway, I yo. Huh? Another kid. Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? That'd be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. The plot is here. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fan and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. Eh... How would bartending become a fad? Maybe our cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um. Excuse me, miss. It's no place for kids, so you should. Um. Gail, she's staring too much and she says saying nothing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing's inappropriate aside from alcohol. But alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be? She's just curious about the bar. Ayo, the plot is here? Indeed. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Jill. Bwah! How the hell did I start you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. A beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? Gee, I wonder why you recognize this girl, Jill. Let's give Gil a big beer. I'm sure he could use one. Here, thanks, and lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget, the disposal unit came on sun comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh right, yeah. There's a bottle of carmatrine that's just like a one pass expiration. I did buy the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean... Are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but... I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I... see. 
Um. Hey, Jill. Bah! Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I need to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyway. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That's only happened once and the old lady started it. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays or physical money when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Yeah, yeah. Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Eh. Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis sister. Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry. You've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. Right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl, my ex's sister. Um. So how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical, sabbatical year? So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister, she's, um, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. Um, <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all merry here mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be Mary worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing me out at me like that? Did I infect her with a disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect. And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nano machine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've even heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you know what it was? It was all. Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared because I need to grab a hold of my life. 
but it has nothing to do with your sister. I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. I can't do this scream. It was kind of a stretch trying to do the rest of it, but I, I can't do the scream properly. Now without waking up the, uh, waking up the entire household. Make sure a girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief. I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill, you want to grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I'm fine. I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill, you can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's, it's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. It's, I feel like a part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't covered coward back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks boss, I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you or you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, four, she's in your care, you hear? Yeah. You're ready to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. Well, chat, that's a great time to, uh, end on for this evening. We got about an hour left of stream time. So as tradition, we will play something else. It's a nice little polite cleanser. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's session of Valhalla. It was certainly spicy. Now, what should we do for the rest of this evening? The plot happened. You bet. You bet. What to do for the next hour or so? I see Vampire Survivors has an update. New DLC has been added and will be in so long with the game. Oh, Pog. Well, I think I know what we're doing for the next hour or so, chap. I haven't played Vampire Survivors in a while. I wonder what's changed. Io? Well, we're about to test it for ourselves. Do, do, do. It's now assuming we could get Vampire Survivors to run, of course. Play with Steam Overlay enabled. Uh Because for some reason I was trying to get it to run the other day, and for some reason I couldn't stream it. So we're gonna uh, try to do that this time. Maybe if we make it full screen, it'll work properly, huh? Ooh, we can actually connect it to Twitch. To enable Twitch mode.
Twitch channel lulls time. Cool. Twitch mode has been enabled. I don't know what that means, but we're going to do it. And also, I selected full screen mode, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do I have to restart? Let's try restarting. Ah, here we go. Is it showing up? Hmm. How did I get this to work? Hmm. I wonder. What to do, what to do. I'm trying to get uh, Vampire Survivors to pop up on stream, but for some reason it's being a derp. Ah, there we go. It looks like I had to activate our, the uh, overlay to get it to pop up on stream. So now it seems to be working properly. Cool, cool, cool. Let us get going then. We've not played this game in a while, so we're probably going to be terabad, but that's alright. I also don't know what connecting this game to Twitch is supposed to do for us, but uh, that's now that's now a thing. Should be a fun time ahead by all. This game sure has changed a lot in the last since the last time I got it, or last time I played it. Who are we going to play as this time? Uh, let's play as someone relatively simple, actually. I actually unironically like the panda bear, even though I'm terrible at panda bear. I also have a lot of money. I just realized I have a, lot of, a decent amount of money right now, or an undecent amount of money. I should probably use this in something. There we go. Must play as bear. Gallo Tower. Il Malice. Not yet discovered. Green Acres. The Bone Zone. There's sure of man, there's a lot of stages I've never seen. We are making our way through the plot of this game. And yes, there is in fact a plot. So we will complete that first. Let's try and get these cards next. Where is the... I guess we have to go north? Interesting. Twitch selection. I.O. Twitch, what am I going to choose? Feel free to vote using, I think, exclamation vote in the... Uh... Ah, shit. I didn't realize that there was actually a time limit. That's kind of mean. Three? Knife then? I.O.? Oh, this is kind of fun. That's kind of unique. I don't get to play many games in this, or get many, or get to play many games on Twitch that actually have user interaction integrated in. So this is actually kind of fun. It's kind of new. B. So you just have to type in like a letter or a number. That's really clever. 
I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Will I be able to complete the mission alongside playing in this manner? I guess we are going to find out, huh? I shall do my best to survive as a vampire survivor. Success, unfortunately, is not guaranteed. Oh, shit. I do believe those are giant enemy crabs. This is horrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. I mean, honestly. Oh god. We're being eaten alive, chap. I don't know how we got out of that, but here we are. We somehow managed to make it out of this... For a time being, I suppose. Pog. Giant enemy crab. These crabs are too many. This is kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. To be fair, this is a fairly difficult... Stage, I suppose. Especially for one untrained such as I. Ah, uh, we're dead. That's not much in the way of giant enemy crabs. I didn't know it was based on real historical battles. I know, right? And it seems to me like chat was able to affect history in ways that were previously unknown to us. Let's try it again. We're going to continue to head our way upwards. Pentagram. I was never fond of Pentagram because it doesn't give you much in the way of experience since it just deletes everything on screen. Ah! Pile of salt. You know, with the addition of things like just all these animals coming out, these uh, enemies being spawned out of nowhere, it kind of lends me to believe that you could possibly have a uh, eSport type game using vampire survivors. Even when you consider that a lot of RNG takes a lot into account. Thank you so much for the health. I see, so you can actually help out the streamer as opposed to hurting the streamer. That's kind of cool. It's honestly really cool. Fire wand. We're being attacked by giant enemy crabs once again. This is of most concerning, chat. Thankfully, there's plenty of room to maneuver in some of these areas. So we're making do with what we got. Io? I don't know what that was, but it was cool. Lee, help me succeed, chat. Help leave the lo help lead the lost time show to victory. I. No, all of the experience is gone. Oh well. Light sources? Bat Swarm? Mino Rush? Bat Swarm would be nice, but I don't have any garlic with me. At the moment. It's nice that there's this big open space, though. Oh, Io? Light sources? Thank you. 
I think it's interesting that I know someone over there out there must be choosing these options, but I don't see the selections being shown in chat, so... Makes me curious. Unless they're just like automated or something. Oh yeah, duplicator. Good choice. <laughs> oh yeah, light sources. What now, chap? Additional clovers? Additional luck? I see we're going on a uh, pure dex and luck build here. An interesting combination for a panda, but uh, I would not mind seeing speedy, lucky pandas. It could be an interesting combo. If I do say so myself. Oh shit. It's a good thing bats don't do much in the way of damage, huh? Oh, but there's a lot of them. Oh shit, there's a lot of bats. Oh my fuck. We're only at six minutes. On the bright side, we have a fairly large amount of... have a fairly large amount of, um... chicken waiting for us at the end of this tunnel. Thank you for the garlic. Much appreciated. This time, if I get bat swarmed, it will not be as painful. Cringe. Candy box, Medusa swarm. Imp swarm. Ooh, clock stopper. Oh, and a present. Don't mind if I do. What now, chap? More cherry bombs? Based. Candy box. Oh, yeah. Now to choose one of these weapons. What should I get, chap? Up to you. Song of Mana, maybe? Laurel? Rune Tracer? Maybe one of these guns? Song of Mana is kind of broken, to be honest. That's why I like using it. Alright, Song of Mana it is. Oh, yeah. Looks like a really fa bear a fairly basic chest, though. All things considered. What now, chat? Garlicky. Oh, yeah, evolution with the axe, no less. 
Chicken Bonanza. Thank you very much. Oh, this is getting a little intense. That was kind of my bad. Thankfully, there's some chicken down there we can get. There we go. These are fairly strong chickens, too. So it's not all bad. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is bad. Uh, we're not going to be able to make it back down to get the chicken that was there. If we can last until the uh, pentagram comes back, we might be able to escape. Oh, we're not going to make it. Yeah, we got ghosted. That wasn't so bad, was it? Can't buy any power-ups yet. Once more with feeling, ah, let's try a different character this time. How about we play... Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy is fairly weak, but his bones do bounce off everything, which will be quite in handy. Assuming I don't accidentally kill myself before then. Oh shit. That was quick. Ayo, 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 ayo. Guns, the duel. Good choice. Good choice, good choice. Honestly. Spellbinder. Not bad. Oh my god, evil candelabras. Explosive candelabras, it seems. We continue our way upward, chat. We need to acquire the story item that's up there. Somehow. Assuming we could survive that long, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. More spellbinders? Not bad. More crabs? Cringe. Uh, what fresh horrors await me now? I wonder. Ooh. A candy box. Thank you. Now then... Let's go ahead and give ourselves the hmm, pentagram, clock lancet, lightning ring, eight sparrow. I might as well have two gu both guns. What's next? I wonder. <laughs> More combat armor? Not bad. Free passive? Drowner or Shooting Star 1? Og.
I'd love to kill this guy and take his free chest, but something tells me that's not going to be happening at my current level. I'm fairly sure I'm too weak for this, but we'll see. Kind of desperate for experience right now, chat. <laughs> Ayo? Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Stone mask. Garlic. Garlic, 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 garlic. <laughs> yes. This is delicious. Level 10, and it's only been 5 minutes. Not bad. Honestly. All things considered. What now? What now? What now? We are leveling up quite fast this time, actually. I love it. You love to see it. Empty town. Ooh, candelabra. It should help us out a little bit. And now, let's go ahead and just shove our way up north as possible. We might be strong enough to make it, chat. But we won't know until we try. That's probably the unfortunate thing. That there's no way to know until we actually attempt to get up there. Oh my goodness. Look at all this garbage. Good thing I got some fresh chicken right next to me. Something tells me we're going to be okay. And we were. See, I told you it would be fine. These demons have a little too much health for my taste. Hog. <laughs> Pog. Mm -hmm. We're doing pretty well now, chap. I hope I didn't just jinx it, though. Huh? 
Looks like I am all in your capable hands. Completely forgot I had Laurel, so that explains why I haven't been taking damage lately. Kind of pog. Hmm. Bone daddy time! Oh man, these guys are getting a little close for comfort, if I do say so myself. Just a bit, you know? If I see the light at the end of the tunnel, we just need to be patient. Good thing we got all that armor for me also. We might be able to escape it, chap. Just maybe. Yep, we're almost there. Almost there. Nope, shit! Panic, panic, panic. Oh, we managed to escape. Just in the nick of time. Managed to get through a little hole in the corner. We have chosen a tract orb to make it easier to grab all this garbage that's been left by uh, left for us. Very nice choice. Woo -hoo -hoo. What do we have here? Another stone mask. Dio. Dio. 11 minutes. We're nearing the halfway point of the game. And I still have not reached the... We're still quite some time, some far, some place away. Heresy. Hold up. Apparently there's some chicken down here. I'll need to go grab that. We need to heal ourselves. Oh shit. Wrong buttons pressed. Wrong buttons pressed. Can we make it? Can we make it to the chicken? We made it to the chicken. According to this, there's another chicken around here. But where? Ah. It's all the chicken I left behind. It's a good thing I didn't eat those immediately. Good thing too. Honestly. Base area has been increased. I like how the exploding candelabras actually injures the enemies too. Oh my goodness. Oh Christ. Oh God. Oh fuck. 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 Escape. Gotta escape! I can't believe we got out of that. <laughs> this game is wild. I don't even know if Chad is actually controlling the game right now or if it's entirely choosing at random. Whatever it's doing, it seems to be for the better, huh?
Io? What was that? Rosary? Cool. Or something. Something killed everything just now. It's kind of neat. You'll love to see it. Ayo? More laurel? <laughs> it's bone in time. Who goes there? Bowen in time. We're at 16 minutes and we still need to reach whatever that item is at the very top of the map. It looks like we're doing pretty well right now though. So we might make it. I hope. I love the fact that all my I, all my attacks are huge. Fuck huge now, thanks to the candelabra. Nothing shall escape my breath. At least not at the time being. Spellbinder. Pog. Very Pog. Alright. Ooh, a boss. It's been a while since they've seen a boss in this game. At least I'm assuming that's what they are, right? 18 minutes, 25 seconds. Cringe. We need to get to that item up there, chat. Is this guy gonna die anytime soon? Would be nice. Would sure be nice. Holy fuck. Too many crabs. Too many giant enemy crabs. All right, it's time to stop pissing around, I suppose. We need to head to the objective through any memes possible. Through any memes possible. It's a good thing we have all that armor, though. Ooh, another boss. Another mini boss, I should say. Gotta keep moving. Ah, this might be so use useful. It's not the objective, but it's close. Could really use some chicken any mo any time now, guys. Uh, por favor. 
please? Would be nice. Oh shit. Oh god, oh fuck. Uh, that is not really helping. Rip. Uh, well, it was good while it lasted. Not pretty far that time, though. Not a lot of money, too. Plenty for power-ups. Definitely gonna buy some armor. Okay. This time, who should we play as? We're gonna cheat. Play as Papaya. will be our last attempt of the evening as we near the three hour mark. A long day, hasn't it? Oh, my God, what's this? What fresh hell is this? Hey, three points, I suppose. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Song of Mana, please. Oh. Supersonic speed, it would appear. Ayo. Good choices, one and all, but we're getting garlic. Christ. So many of them. More clock lancets? Very good.
Come on, Song of Mana. Please? Ah, another pentagram? Eh, whatever. Oh, what is happening? Gold Fever. Awesome, 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 awesome. So we have to keep killing people to get free monies. Free money Fridays chat up in this chat. Very nice. Been a while since we've unlocked Gold Fever. And it was over just as quickly. Sadly. Hi! Thank you for the Hydra Redeem, Vimboy. How are you doing tonight? Imagine playing video games. Playing vampires. Shouldn't be me, right? Could not be me. Imagine playing Vidya. What am I, some kind of nerd? I'm not a nerd, chat. Do you think I'm a nerd? Ugh. Man, I'm exhausted. I think I will pass out after this game is over. Nah. I'm a geek. Well, you know what? I can't argue with your argue with your. I cannot argue with argue with that. So I suppose it must be true. Yeah, shake your booty at me, so I can eat it. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't you bruh me. Pills? I'll show you a pill. I crap. I um, I wasn't paying attention. That was dumb of me. Ah! How am I still alive up to now? Shit, man. I suck at this game. But it is fun. And the devs are good people. Honestly. That's more that can be said for a lot of people, honestly. Eat the sparrow, hollow heart, and garlic. What will be chosen? Ah, more garlic. A fine choice. Oop. Ooh. Oh, what do you know? Thank you. A pet. I was given a head pat by chat. Chicken bonanza. Ultra roulette or summon knight. What will be chosen, chat? Oh, thank you. That was very necessary. Ooh, hoo hoo hoo. Some chicken. Always could use more chicken, chat. We are well on our way to the objective. We're moving pretty fast too. We're pretty healthy. We might just make it. Let's 
It's only two. We got only ten minutes on the clock so far. We got a shield. We got garlic. We got the song of mana on our side. We might be able to accomplish at least one objective for this stream. Aside from Valhalla, of course. Oh, there's actually a candy box below us. What the fuck? We missed that? We need to head back. Ooh, a triple box. We're gonna head back, get the candy box, and then head back upstairs. Dude, dude. This should help. A little bit. Just a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't accidentally get me killed. That would be most unfortunate, you know. So why Magic Wand and not the other one, Pomerola? I'm almost starting to wonder if it's just RNG without user input. In fact, that's probably what it is. It's kind of funny that the RNG system is still playing better than I would if I had gotten the chance to choose my own items. That's kind of sad, really. Oh, which of these to choose? Scent water, actually. Santa Water gets really dumb when you max out all of the uh, area effect stuff. You know, assuming I don't die before I get to take advantage of that sort of thing. Come on, pet. Please. Please use the pet, come on. Or Empty Tome. Empty Tome would be nice. Yep, that works, I guess. Bracer speed. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, this could be it for us, chap. This could be it for us. Or will it be? Oh, this might be it. There's nowhere to run. Yes! The Ramdazu enables unlocking and activation of Arcanas. Well, that saved us just in the nick of time, chat. The game is actually slowing to a standstill now. And a sheer amount of lag going on. Oh, yeah. What could be it be this time? More garlic? Don't mind if I do. Ah, huh, that's weird. What are these weird screen effects happening? Is this the evolved version of the Time Lancet? It must be. Thing is, I don't remember evolving the Time Lancet, so I'm kind of surprised that it's happening, but you know what? It is a welcome addition. I can't complain. It's keeping me alive, after all. 
But man, everything is slowing to a crawl, aren't they? There appears to be a secret over here in this general direction. Let's try and approach it. But how do we get over there? That's the real question. Is there a entrance of some kind? It's almost like it's not even... I assume there's a bridge over there. You need both the silver ring and the golden ring and a time lancet. Yeah, to get the evolution. Which is why I'm wondering what this weird thing that's kind of like turning around float that keeps attacking in a clockwards position is. Which is weird because I'm fairly sure that's the effect of the uh, clock lancet evolution, right? But now I'm curious what's over... What the fuck is that? What is What is happening? What is this? Huh? Where are we? I don't know where we are, chat, but it is a welcome reprieve, I'll give it that much. Oh, yeah? You started the event? Hmm. Ayo? I unlocked a new person? Vampire is in another coffin? Rip. Oh, this is cool. Consetta Concietta and join the survivors. Huh. Wow. I unlocked a, a new survivor, chat. That was unexpected. But it was a welcome surprise. I suppose we got everything in this sector. Let's go ahead and head southward then. Oh yeah. Sayonara, suckers. Oh shit, there's more of them. Oh shit. Yo, there's only one spellcaster allowed in this gym. No! I can't allow myself to die yet. Not yet, damn it. Not yet. Woo! Gold fever, and I can't even kill anything, I'm so underpowered. But hey, it's the thought that counts, right? Thanks to the Song of Mana upgrade game, but it's a little bit late for that, don't you think? Oh, shit. Uh, I have been eaten by cockatrices, no less. You could almost say that I was eaten by, I, eaten by a huge cock. Yes, I know. Terrible joke. But we are allowed to say that on this channel. What are the achievements? 
Anseta and find the Randomazo Og. Okay. Chat, thank you very much for coming to today's stream. We're going to go find someone to raid tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as always, and we will meet again once again on Wednesday. We're going to go to directly to sleep because I am tired. Tired with a capital T isn't tired. That doesn't make any sense, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and raid Hiroshi tonight. She's playing Din Dimano. The de demon demonologist. De oh, she's been playing for three hours. I wonder if she's still playing. I'm sure she'll appreciate the visit. And we will use for tonight's message Vamp Raid. Nothing too special. Thank you again, once again, everyone, for coming tonight, and I'll see y'all again soon.